Warning. Sensitive content. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Do not be misled. Preparing for the great revolution is not in the store of food or money or water or wood. It is in the store of truth, simplicity and love. Attach yourself to God. Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 200. Prophecies of the Great Revolution by Mahavatar Babaji, Vegetarian. Meat is no longer just another type of food like chickpeas or olives. Meat has a destructive power that can bring upon delusional thought, a sluggish disposition and even death. Alison van Tilburg, vegan. Namaste Radiant Viewers, this time-honored Sanskrit greeting you will often hear in India signifies that I honor the God within you. I am Jira, the Apsara, a celestial spirit of the clouds and waters. devout people of India value your kind and gracious demeanor. May you always feel the protection of divine beings around you. Throughout the history of mankind, the divine messages are often shrouded in mystery. Prophets, messiahs, or whichever names you call them, are often persecuted and oppressed, their words obscured. But how do we distinguish the true from the false? To do so, one can only rely on the divine's guidance, and the truth will reveal itself to those who earnestly seek it. Mahavatar Babaji, with Babaji meaning venerated father in Hindi, is the beloved immortal saint who has been manifesting himself in both material and non-material forms to rescue souls and uplift our world. In our previous episode, 
we discovered the predictions spoken by Mahavatar Babaji in the 1970s through the year 2000 about the great revolution that our world would be facing. This revolution refers to a widespread planetary cleansing that has become necessary due to humans' mistreatment of loving co-inhabitants like the animal people as well as each other. The effects of this cleansing process and its potentially tragic global impacts shall be witnessed by every one of us. In the aftermath of the revolution, which will be total, no country will be spared, big or small. Some countries will be totally erased, leaving no sign of their existence. Several countries have disappeared through socio-political turmoil as witnessed by the complete collapse of the Soviet Union in 1993. In addition, it has been estimated that 42 countries are in grave danger from rising seas, while regions in some countries are becoming uninhabitable due to changing climate, extreme weather, and natural disasters. This massive potential for climate migration is estimated to render many countries virtually extinct. 20 countries that no longer exist. Soviet Union or USSR span much of Eurasia yet disappeared from the maps in 1991. Yugoslavia separated into Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Kosovo, Montenegro, Serbia and Slovenia. Rhodesia changed to Zimbabwe in 1980. German Democratic Republic was under Soviet control until 1990 when it reunited with Germany. Austria-Hungary separated in 1918 into Austria, Hungary, Poland, Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia. Czechoslovakia divided into the Czech Republic and Slovakia in 1993. North and South Vietnam reunited in 1975 to Vietnam. Federation of South Arabia merged with South Yemen in 1967, current days Yemen. Tuvan People's Republic was annexed in 1944 by the Soviet Union, now part of the Russian Federation. China annexed Tibet and their government was abolished in 1959 with the Dalai Lama fleeing to India. United Arab Republic was a proclaimed union by Syria and Egypt that ended quickly in 1961. Ottoman Empire at one point controlling parts of the Middle East, Eastern Europe and North Africa was abolished in 1922 after 600 years of reign. Kingdom of Sikkim became part of India. Confederate States of America was a self-proclaimed republic within the United States that existed during American Civil War. East Pakistan is now part of India and Bangladesh. Gran Colombia disappeared in 1830. The Holy Roman Empire existed for over 1,000 years, dissolved during the Napoleonic Wars. Kingdom of Hawaii was annexed by the United States. Korean Empire was abolished in 1910. Kingdom of Prussia, with most of its territory belonging to current day Germany, lasted till 1918. Countries that could disappear due to sea level rising. Etc. Regions in some countries, such as in below countries, are becoming uninhabitable due to climate change.
etc. In some countries, 3 to 5 percent and up to a maximum of 25 percent of the population will be spared and will survive. But the news magazine The Economist estimates that the pandemic's true death toll is four times higher. And many countries struggle to count deaths under normal circumstances, let alone a pandemic. The official COVID toll could just be the tip of the iceberg. In her many lectures and conferences, Supreme Master Ching Hai has also revealed to us. And then I press him, can you tell me this time when COVID-19 will end and the world will go back to normal? The uh, COVID-19 chief told me, year 2099, November 4th. Wow. wow. Oh, that's a long way. So long. I asked him further, at that time, how many percent left? meaning how many percent of humans, you see? Until then, will be death, uh, sickness, destruction, new and more lethal, dangerous uh, variants, correct? So the CV chief said, yes, nine percent left. Mm. Nine percent. Wow. Mm. I'm still fighting so that not all the world will be annihilated. Aww. I'm still fighting, negotiating, discussing about that. Oh. With all concern in heaven and on earth. Thank you, Master. But the thing is, we cannot save all of them. We could save the souls, so some good ones. Yes. Mm. Because not all of them are good. Not all of them are repentant. And not all of them are real humans. Oh. Wow. In the face of frightening changes, Mahavatar Babaji urged his disciples to have a courageous and selfless heart. We have to be ready to face fire, water and great storms and not be shaken. We have to go beyond the hope of life and the fear of death. Whatever happens, we must go ahead. Then only can we benefit the world. The planet will be saved or not saved. We are not really very worried about that, yeah? We want to save the planet, but not because we are afraid to die or anything. We want to do it because other people were, are, will be afraid to die. Do you understand me? Yes. yes. And I am also afraid that they die too soon, before spiritual message can uh, reach their deeper recess of their soul. So that's what I'm afraid of. But if uh, their souls are saved, then uh, we have nothing to fear. See, there are also children who are not grown up yet, etc., etc. It's good to have a planet, so they have a chance to know what is a better planet inside the kingdom of God. That's all. That's why we have to save the planet. <laughs> yeah, don't forget who you are. Do not be misled. Preparing for the Great Revolution is not in the store of food or money or water or wood. It is in the store of truth, simplicity and love. Attach yourself to God. There are a few out there who will be open to this message and will repeat the mantra, live in truth, simplicity and love and serve others. They will live on the higher path, attach themselves to God. With profound love and concern for humankind, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been encouraging us to live this very way in simplicity, service to others, and constant remembrance of God. Inside, get to know yourself. Outside, help others. That's simple to do, right? No, complicated. I talk a lot, but it boils down only to that. Inside, get to know ourselves. Outside, help others. Very simple, yeah? Mm. Because you want to know yourself more, so you came here. Huh? Because you want to help others, so you help uh, the homeless, nah? the disaster victims, and SMTV. Yeah, it's a very simple life. Hmm? Even I don't need to teach anymore, just like that. Huh? Inside, know yourself. Outside, help others. Help all the beings, yeah? All the beings, not just humans, but animal people. Yeah, inside people. <laughs> If you are all in a desert and there's nothing else, only endless desert, then you have no shade at all. 
So shade is very important. And when there are times there is no shade at all except only God's shade, meaning only God's mercy, then you can escape or you can survive. And this is the time. This is our time now, where nothing can protect you, can shield you, almost nothing. Yes, yes. I just pray for all the people and hope all the people pray for themselves, pray dearly, pray hard to protect yourself. Yes. No matter what countries you are, what religion you belong, just pray to God. Pray to Jesus, pray to Buddha, pray to whomever you think the best and you believe in. Just pray with all your heart. Otherwise, in this time of trouble, water and uncertainty, nobody can escape. Nobody is safe. They will be brave and always walk on. There will be many mountains to cross but they will not stop until the goal is reached. They will be strong and will never feel disheartened. These will survive the Great Revolution. We are going to pray for World Vegan and you are going to pray with me. Because it's not enough for us just to be vegan, not enough just to make peace. We have to protect lives by continuously promoting vegan and sustaining peace through this benevolent process and way of life. This can be done if we are convinced vegan. For the reason of compassion, sustainable peace, sustainable planet, sustainable world, through harmonious lifestyle. So, I am going to ask you, beautiful, noble viewers, Whatever you are in the society, meaning your position, your ideology, your opinions, your religious beliefs, just please follow your love in heart. We can pray, meditate together. We do this, apart from everything else that we do until the world vegan is here. We will not stop. I will not stop. Even if you don't do it, I do it all by myself. Uh, with my so-called disciples, we will do it all together. After the Great Revolution, a time of peace and enlightenment will follow. We conclude today's program with this hopeful vision the great avatar left us. After the great revolution, this world will enter a golden age. The environment will be in balance and mankind will have changed its ways by living on the higher path. There will be tremendous technology. It will take you to the stars in this galaxy and beyond to other galaxies. You will become a great race creating life throughout the universe and you will meet up with sentient beings from other dimensions of space-time. If the whole planet people live in virtue and uh, really compassionate lifestyle, then the earth will change into heaven in no time. Nothing else can really compare to this. Thank you, Master. Only love can absorb all the negative energies. Only love can transform it. And only the loving heart, compassionate heart of the people can absorb the negative impact that we have created. Because even if we want to rely on technology, the technology that we're having right now is nothing, nothing, compared to what we will have 
if all the population of the planet turn into a loving, kind, compassionate vegan diet, then you will see all kinds of inventions that we have never imagined before will surface. And all people will live in peace and love even if they don't pray for it. It's welcome. When we earn the friendship of all our neighboring or some of our more advanced neighboring planet, when we cease to be a threat to the universal uh, harmony, when we cease to be uh, a frightening group of, uh, you know, scary population, then other planet beings will visit us without invitation even. They will come and they will invite us to their place to show us extraordinary technology that we could not even think of in a dream. And we would not even know that such things exist. I just tell you one thing like a belt only, you know, traveling belt. Yeah, you put it on, push a button and go anywhere in a flash. Yes, understand? Yes, understand. Or even use the cloud to travel. That's just one of those things. Other things, I don't have terms <laughs> in our world. Sometimes I see it. Well, we will see. Huh? Let's hope we have that day. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Our respectful gratitude goes to the venerated Mahavatar Babaji for his wise and caring counsel. We are deeply thankful as well to our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, who has been working ceaselessly with saints such as Babaji to awaken our world and pacify this planet. With prayers for all souls on earth, may humanity turn to benevolent living and always remember God. Thus, through an inner revolution, may our future be bright, extraordinary, and joyful. Continue to eat meat so that all the instruments for torture will be sharpened and ready for you in health. Serene viewers, thank you for joining us today. Please tune in again next week as we explore Paramhansa Yogananda's prophecies on the eve of the Great Spiritual Awakening. Coming up is enlightened Sufi master Nasser Deen, vegan, the wise fool with true knowledge of God, part one of two. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May heavenly streams of inspiration uplift you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique AP. Nuestro programa ofrece en varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada AP. Nuestro programa ofrece en varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada AP.